Well, here we are. This is, a, this is going to be an inside look and the process um, that we utilize to come up with some of the products that you see on the table right now. I am known as Black Mamba Inspirational Person something like that and he is known as the big brain he's the guy that i throw all these crazy ideas at and him and his team put it all in the pot in the nike kitchen mix it up and voila out pops these shoes and product and all kinds of good stuff so not too many people get a chance to kind of look behind the scenes we're kind of pulling the curtain back so hope you enjoy You asked me what I thought good design was, and I, uh, I said to you, I quoted Leonardo da Vinci, which oh, we've, yeah. we've used a few times going back and forth. And uh, one of my favorite quotes from him was, uh, um, you know, good design is the perfect balance between science and art. Remember that? I do remember yeah. that. Yeah. I, you know, I asked you that because I wanted to know, I, obviously I was extremely familiar with the, your work, but I wanted to know how you got to that point and how things became culture. You know, shoes became culture. In our case, turned a system into culture. But it was, uh, it was fascinating for me to hear that. You immediately broke it down to a performance level of what you were looking for. It's very easy for me to do that because you get it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that we share, uh, that we enjoy, whether it's, you know, programs you watch on TV or movies or whatever. Yeah, it's the same, we have the same things in common, so we, under, we speak the same language. So it's very easy for me to do that. Um, but if you're going to be on your feet, you need to have something that's going to actually help enhance your game. It's not something that's just, that you're just putting on your foot just to run around. I want things that are very detail oriented and meticulously placed in the shoe that I feel gives me an advantage. And, and you picked up on that right away. And uh, I've kind of been off and running ever since. Yeah, right? <laughs> time we meet it's it's like a different challenge of how you want to move performance um, you know like I want the lowest lightest weight shoe of all time I remember the, the, the meeting we had when we decided to do a, a low cut shoe that was an interesting day mm -hmm. <laughs> and everybody kind of looked like you know mm -hmm. I was sitting there with like three heads or something you know I said wow you know that's gonna be a change for the market because you want to show the world that um, you could play in low tops right. and that it was time for a change of revolution. The concept of the Predator kind of comes from, uh, the idea came from a, a trip that I took to South Africa. And our guy is driving us around and he's showing us like these animals, you know, it's like, like a gazelle and like, I want to see predators. And it kind of clicked, it was like, well, you know, this is kind of, you know, what I do in my profession, you, you got to you know, hunt or be hunted. You got to go after something. So I said, you know, I want to really incorporate that in the line. You know, if you see a person wearing the shoe, it, it tells you something about that person, yeah. about what's inside of them, the engine that they have inside yeah. of them. We took inspiration from looking at shark skin, at snake skin, and also the pattern of, of a leopard. You yeah. kind of fused all of those together. And that's kind of how we came up with um, you know, this, this pattern, right? Which is it's crazy. Kobe, yeah. This Kobe skin, you know? Yeah. I, 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 I get I gave the inspiration and stuff, yeah. but then you took it to like, you know, you took it someplace else by yeah. coming up with its own yeah. skin, its yeah. own print, by combining, yeah. you know, the predators that, you know, really inspired me. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. I wanted to have something that was a little softer, something that kind of protects you and, kind of aids your recovery process. And then when it's time, go to something that's a little thinner, quicker to the ground, a little, lower, a little more lower. responsive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's where the idea kind of came from. The first midsole that we have is um, what we refer to as play fast or attack fast. And this incorporates two zoom bags, one in the heel, one in the forefoot, which gives Kobe low profile cushioning, but very responsive cushioning. The other drop-in we're referring to as attack strong is comprised of more of a lunar foam, which is a little softer and will give him a little more cushioning, a little more protection from the explosive movements that, that he does. When you start with the low cut, that was like the beginning, right? Of kind yeah. of, and then now here we are with the system. So we don't make shoes anymore, we make systems. Yeah. And 
which is cool. You want people to have an option. You want to, you want to give them a choice of you know, what they're working with. Yeah. And going forward, it's going you know, to be even crazier. So it's time to put the system to work, so to speak. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, look forward to catching up with you on the next system.